Please welcome the 2013-14 Kia NBA Most Valuable Player, Kevin Durant. I come from, I come from a small county outside of Washington, D.C. called PG County. Me, my mom, my brother, we moved so many different places growing up and it felt like a box. It felt like there was no getting out. I love basketball so much. I love playing it. I just never thought that I could make it to college, NBA, or stand up here today in front of you guys and be an NBA MVP. So many people believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. So many people doubted me and motivated me every single day to be who I am. I fell so many times and got back up. I've been through the toughest times with my family, but I'm still standing. It was cool to see how moved people were by my speech, but that's not what I'm here to do. I'm in this league to win a championship. Three years ago, we were two games away from winning the NBA title. Last season, we lost in the Western Conference Finals. As I was walking through the tunnel, everything just kind of like flashed before my eyes. I've been second my whole life. I was the second best player in high school, second pick in the NBA draft. I came second in the finals. I'm tired of being second. I'm not gonna settle for that. I'm done with that. degrees at 98.1 FM WWLS the sports animal if you look at it the Thunder were the second best team in the NBA and that tells you they're not far off I don't know unless there's a major addition to the team this summer they'll continue to be a second place team After we lost, I sat at home for three days. I didn't, I didn't leave the house. Just sat there. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what it felt like to, to not get up and go to practice. I was expecting us to be in the finals. I felt embarrassed. I felt like I let people down. It was different because I was so focused and locked in on what we were doing, um, but. You know, that's, that's a part of the game, man. I just had to reflect on the season and learn from it and get better from it, hopefully this summer, and, and let it go, to be honest. He's ready to go tomorrow to L.A. I know you got to get the house. I don't know what to do, but you got to get the house ready. You got to get a house by the gym somewhere by UCLA, and they're all going. Vernon, Black, Cliff, everybody's leaving tomorrow. always enjoyed coming to LA visiting, so I wanted to see how it was living. And last summer was one of my best summers as far as working out and, and getting better, so I wanted to do it all over again. Oh, that's gonna hurt you hard. With lots of muscle. One, two, three. Women, I can see it through me. You like it. Hey, you know, so we decided to go with a place in Beverly Hills where it was quiet and it was, we, uh, we had a court in the bags, and that's all I really needed. I'm taking the master suite. He gonna take the other room. This is me. This is me. First things first. I gotta go bless the court. We're painting the lines right now. Oh yeah. Hey, Black. Come in. It's a great feeling to have your your boys here with you that you grew up with. Got the cheese. We never talk about wins. We never talk about losses. We just 
enjoy being around each other, and that helped me out a lot. I should have played this game if I ain't clutch now. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, you put that performance up the last year? Charlie Bell, who I've known since I was eight years old, who's been there for me ever since day one. Um, Cliff, you know, we play AAU ball together um, when we were about 16. Black is what we call him, but his name is Devontae. I met him when I was in seventh grade. All that screaming, and he down too. <laughs> just having that support system around, they just take your mind off of it. He always wanted to play basketball. That was his thing. I'm crazy. He was just quiet. He didn't, he didn't say much. He didn't hang around nobody. He was just a tall, linky kid walking around in the hallways. Still the same way like he is now. You say a little bit more now, talk a little bit more trash now than he did then. Yeah. I remember when we were 12, 13, everybody out there 18, 19, 20 years old. And Buddy on the mic just like, man, who's his agent? I'm like, he's 13 <laughs> years old. Like, who's his agent? And he started to bring the ball up court. And soon he got past half court, and he just letting it fly. He stepped past half court at 14 years old. It's talking about that's far enough. For all the people in his whole area, he just uplifted that whole community. And all the little kids and everybody that seen him when he was little, everybody was like, yo, that's our Kevin Durant. My fondest memory going to the draft is he said, man, I'm gonna have a lot of family and friends here. I came out the hotel. It was three busloads of people. He in rhythm right now. Woo! He in rhythm right now. He work as if he's still trying to get to the NBA. That's how hard he work. Like, he's still trying to get there, and he's there. Ooh. We don't never talk about stuff like this, but I ain't know they felt that way. It's kind of, you know, a little emotional. Two days. Good block! Good! Oh my gosh, man. The try by James, and that one's good. The layup just gift wrapped right there. I mean, he had a clear pass. That's crazy, man. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna win the game. You gonna win? Yeah. It's a you game know, that's of a runs. Small window for Earl right here. Hey, oh. get it up! Uh-uh. Oh! That oh. Don't oh. <laughs> Play like that. The controller keeps stopping every five See, minutes. That's my controller, though. Champ is here. Hey. Hey. They push me to just go enjoy myself, take a vacation, just laugh and, and, and have fun, you know, because I'm always focused and you always in game mode um, is what I call it. So, you know, just be able to decompress a little bit and enjoy your time. Hey, youngin' on a roll in here. Yeah. Keep cooking, son. Keep... Cook Katie. Crank Katie. Go ahead, son. Bucket. Oh. I was about to say. That hurt his heart, though. Oh, <laughs> my gosh, man. Yeah. It's time to consider what does not work. Stephen A. Smith, we ask this question. Come playoff time, it's a big man's, it's, it's a man's game. It's no longer a boy's game. <laughs> Kevin Durant has to learn to do a better job of posting up smaller guys. When you do that, he can shoot over anybody, but it's hard for him to post up and back people down. You're not winning championships if you're shooting perimeter shots. It's simply not happening. When the season ended, everyone told me I should rest, but I didn't want to stop. I wanted to work harder than I've ever worked this off season. Here we go, right here. It's in the in your shot pocket when you second foot hits. So boom, loaded, hits up. Good. Just load while we spin. Good. Adam played for the Mavericks for a year, played for Denver for a year, and then went overseas. He got really close with Dirk Nowitzki when he was with the Mavericks. Trained with him for a while over in Germany, and that's where he picked up all the unorthodox movements and shots and, and drills that we use. Every day has been something new and fresh, and that's what I wanted. So just think of, so it's still a first step. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna engage Donnie, so. That's it, good, yep. Or your left leg's gonna engage him, good. It's gonna knock him back, good. There, there you go, good. Feel, Kev, feel momentum going this way, shots this way, okay? We go here, contact. 
That's gonna get us the end one. Here you go, big fingers, trust it. Yeah, two. Three. Four, good, one more. Good, five, good. Wait, two. Wait, second. Wait, three. Wait, four. Wait, five. Wait, six. Wait, five. Wait, seven. Hey boy, free throws, we're done, we end on that. Proud of you. No second up. Yeah, so 30 for 30. It's good. That's game shooting, okay? Here we go, 10 in a row, we're done. Just when we put in the most work, when people don't really see it. I don't really look at it as, as an off season. This is one of the most important times of the year, you know, because you're preparing for this time next year, you know, hopefully being in the finals. Uh, you're prepared for that right now. What an avalanche from San Antonio. A 21-point lead. LeBron is gone if they lose this series, dog. Well, it was tough to watch, you know, because you want to be there as a competitor. You know, you want to win. That's the biggest thing in this league is winning a championship. You know, as a, as a student of the game, I had to sit there and... and and uh, as painful as it was, and, and learn from each and every guy on that floor. And the final seconds set to tick off. Hold on. The Spurs are the 2014 NBA champions. Yeah. Oh. Two. Duck under. There you go. Perfect. Good. We'll go five in a row from five spots. Little shimmy to the baseline, but you're coming middle. Perfect, nice and easy, good. Just big step, good, there you go. Two each way. There you go, 15 in a row. If I'm drenched and soaked and salty from just playing ball all day, that's like the most productive day I've had because that's what I love to do. My whole day revolves around me waking up, working out, grab something to eat. I shoot over there and go home with them, go eat again. Slide over there and play in that game. Yeah! And then just getting up that next morning and going to work out. Basketball every day, all day. I love it. You'll do a sound bite and you'll be done. So you're literally done at 11.30. And then you go on for your interviews, quick and easy, only about strong and kind, only about the workouts, nothing about free agency or anything, playoffs, anything like that, maybe Team USA. Uh, having a guy that take his time uh, to come and work with abused and neglected children, foster children, and get them hope, man. And, and I really believe that this experience today is going to change our children's lives. Where I come from, I mean, I wasn't supposed to be here. I come from poverty, uh, crime, and kids just don't make it out. You know, as a kid, I was always taught that you got to be tough. You got to be hard. Yes. You're not supposed to show emotion. That's it. Uh, but as I got older and, and more secure with myself, you know, it was cool to be different. That's why I'm here today. I never thought I'd be able to impact people uh, the way I have so far. I take pride in that. I'm just a regular guy. You know, I play ball on TV sometimes. And knowing that I can give them hope and inspire them has been something that's been like a dream come true. One, two, three! All right, so you got your two interviews, sound bites, then we're done. Uh, CNN and Huffington Post. Outside? In the green room out here, yeah. So, your contract's ending next year. Do you think you're going to stay with the Thunder? Yeah, well, I got two more years uh, on my contract. So, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to uh, stay focused on what we have here in Oklahoma City. I'm not worried about all that other stuff. Not cool. Hey, Rich, I'm done with the TV, right? Yeah, he's done with this, right? Of course, she asked me about I know. They specifically right. told her. I saw it specifically off limits, and they specifically ask. It's just have no respect for any boundary. No, nah, that's all good. She doesn't even know. She's like, you're a free agent next summer? I was like, no, I'm not.
go not all the way up, but see where the cones come across. So we got two in a row. Just go around the cones. S's up to the side cones. Go, come on, come on. Come on, come on, all the way up, all the way up. Who thought of this shit today, Tony, you? Let me show my tattoos. Come on, tattoo guys, let's go. You know, I use Russell as somebody that can push me while we're working out. We can push each other to help us both get better. In turn, it's gonna help our team get better. We're gonna do a little suicide. We're gonna go up to that one, mm -hmm. where the cones cross the one that's leaning towards us, then the next one down, and the next one down. Here we go, ready? Come go, on. come on. Russell thought it'd be a great idea for us to uh, work on our explosiveness and quickness. Of course, I will never be as explosive and quick as Russell. We're like brothers, and I'm just blessed to have somebody like that to rely on and, and play with. Brothers fight, brothers, you know, we, we love each other and we support each other. You used to do this when you were in high school? Hell yeah, yeah. I used to come here all the time, me and my brother. My mom used to be walking the steps, and we just be fucking around up and down. Nobody get tired when you're younger, shit. You know, I've been with them for uh, six years, and uh, we went through some tough times early on as a team. Uh, but we, we got through that, and you know, we continue to just keep growing. And everybody who comes in, uh, look at me and Russ as the leaders. Today, we're gonna make some big news. In a few minutes, Kevin Durant will join us to debut his latest signature shoe from Nike. But did you also know that he grew up just a few miles from here? If you didn't, then it's time you get to know Kevin Durant. A lot of people don't know, you grew up in this area, you didn't have to come very far today. No, nah, yeah, I grew up not too far from here, and it uh, feels good to come back and, and, and release my shoe here. I'm on my seventh shoe, and it's like, damn, I got my own tennis shoe. We're gonna work with KD to design a shoe that KD's gonna actually wear next year. It still hasn't hit me yet, to be honest. I never would have thought that this would happen. You know, I walk down the street, and kids are like, man, I just bought your shoes today. And I just sit there and I'm like, wow. Somebody actually walked in and said, I want some Kevin Durant sneakers. Little smile. Lots of excitement about Kevin Durant's new Nike shoe, the KD7s. It's important to know that these could potentially be Sorry. the last Kevin Durant Nikes ever made since Durant's contract with Nike is almost over. And there's rumors that Under Armour is coming after him big time. Very interested in KD. Uh, we'll see what we'll see. Good, good, good. I was born in Washington, D.C. My brother, my mom, and I, we moved with my grandma to see Pleasant area. And see Pleasant, that's why I started learning the game of basketball. That's why I built the love for basketball. How you feel about being home? I don't know, man. There's gonna be a lot of love down here for you, though, broski. Everybody miss you. I got mixed emotions, man, you know? I used to spend all the, you know how we used to come back every summer, but it got crazier and crazy, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to, it's hard to go places out here, dog, and just chill. Look at all the boarded houses up and shit. See, Pleasant was like the, the murder capital of Maryland at one point. And so around that time, it was like, the jungles was wildin'. But I knew all of them, though, so it was, and if you stay at that wreck, that joint was like a safe haven. The wreck still. I'd go there after school. I'd, I'd spend most of my time there. I used to catch the subway up there. I used to, my first haircut ever was in this barbershop. So that's what we hooping at up here today. They gonna show so much love. They might, you know, there's gonna be some hecklers and some, some dudes that's gonna try to get me riled up. Got the NBA MVP in the building too. KD will be coming up next. What's your facts, You know, every time I come back, I felt like no matter what you do, like you're just making it to the league. You feel like you're a hero for a bunch of these people. You're just making it. You give them hope, you know. When you're a basketball player. Somebody see the potential you got, like. You can walk around these streets and not get touched because it's like, all right, we, this dude right here, you're going to make it out of here. That's what everybody, that's the goal. Hey, y'all, do me a favor. We're not going to show two old stars need their bench. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Ash. I work out on the court on drills, but pickup is where I hone my, my, my instincts for the game.
I love being around the atmosphere. I love being around basketball players. I love to hear people talk trash to me when I'm out in the neighborhood playing. I love it, you know, that's, that's the best part of the summer to me. I was the youngest guy in the league when I got drafted, uh, 18 years old. I went from living in a two-bedroom apartment, sleeping in twin beds with my six, nine, six, seven brothers to being in the NBA. It's just been crazy just to see the progress, you know, of myself as a man, as a player, as a, as a businessman. I'm excited about the future. I just got to keep uh, keep working. These are the things that are critical to KD. Number one, he has to have a passion for the brand. And we need to create consistency throughout all of his partners moving forward. So Kevin Durant is the best basketball player in the world. He is an original, once in a lifetime player. He possesses an unbridled passion for the game and a commitment to being the best and winning championships. Off the court, he's professional, grounded, humble, and giving. This is who this guy is. This is just the beginning. You know, today is the foundation for where we have to go. Seven. Eight. It's Steve Nash, and I worked out with him a few times this summer. And um, so just learning from, from different guys is something that um, I never had a chance to do in the, in the past. One thing that I really wanted to have you help with him today, especially, is just some of that, some of that grab, like some of this, you know what I mean? Ones through, through your 18 years in the NBA um, that you've learned that, you know, get away with and things like that. So Steve, you can, you can start however you want. I'll hit you, but see, you're, Kevin, you're trying to make it as hard as you can. <laughs> yep, there you go, good, that's all I want, good. And Steve, if you could just talk to him as you're kind of go. Now you're on, Kevin. Did you start fighting against me? That's a great, that's a great one. You, you can get away with all this contact. You can watch the passer. Yep. He plays you in here. Yeah. Take him farther so you can side. I can catch it here. I can catch it here. Whatever you want, but take him where he's playing. Yep, good. OK, let's do the long walks, OK? Three, four, five, six. I fall good take, see? Two, here we go, come on, boys. Good. That's it, Kev, that's it, Kev. Discipline that body, good. Three. Come on, baby, here we go. Way to work, baby, good. Here we go, Kev. Ten. That was 45 minutes from the start. Great cardio. Tomorrow, 9 o'clock, 9.30? Whenever you're ready. All right, man. Good seeing you. All right, good night. All right, man. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Welcome to the party, fellas. I just came for food. What's up, man? Thank you. LeBron and Carmelo are dominating the free agency discussion, but another name has now caught the attention of teams like the Bulls, Thunder, and Rockets. It's Pau Gasol. The Spanish big man has become one of the most sought-after free agents in a very busy summer. Thank you for coming today. We have a little bit of a schedule we're going to go through. The voiceover of the, your voice is uh, super important. You know, that journey, you know, that voice is a little bit the heart and soul of... Uh, of this spot. Okay, this is voice over B, alternate North American version. Rolling. Well, all you need to know is where to put the ball. A little, I would go a little slower. Yeah. yeah. A little bit slower. Well, all you need to know is where to put the ball. See, I think the oh, comma is oh, right. in the wrong I mean, place. What I was saying was, well, all you need to know is where to put the ball. Okay. That's how, that's, that's kind of how I hit well, it. Does that? All you need to know, I think it's more uh, like where, all you need to know is where to put the ball. Well, all you need to know mm -hmm. is where to put the ball. Well, 
All you need to know is where to put the ball. Can I do it again? Well, all you need to know is where to put the ball. Let's, let's see what it is. Thank you so much. Thunder superstars Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook have reportedly met with Pau Gasol today in Los Angeles. Gasol would give OKC a much needed inside presence. Mark Stein from ESPN broke the news this morning over Twitter. You know Mark Stein? He was like, man, I heard KD's in powerhouse right now. How the fuck you know that? You need to get him, man. Okay, here we go. Very quiet, you guys. There's a kid on the court somewhere bouncing the ball. He's the baddest player alive. He's the baddest player alive, but he doesn't even know it yet. Great. Cut. All right, good. Well, obviously, we would love to post a player like Powell, a guy that can do so much, can create for so many people, that can score himself. I went out to his house. Russell went out to his house. I was texting him every day, bugging him to come play for us. And the meeting goes on, okay? It went really well. Like, yeah. I, I left there like, damn, we might get this dude. We saw it. Yeah, he was more concerned about the city. He wanted, like, he into, like, orchestras and Word shit. plays. returning, of course, to the New York Knicks, and Pal Gasol will sign a deal to join Derrick Rose as a member of the Chicago Bulls. Oh, my Bulls. gosh, man. It was just kind of like, I wouldn't say like a stab in the chest, but it was, you know, um, I, I wanted I wanted him to play for us. Uh, I wanted him to be a part of it. I felt that um, he can help us, you know, get over the top um, and win a championship. But it happens in this league. We miss out on players every year. Teams miss out on guys every year. But you want your leaders to step up, and that's what I have to do. He has to do more. It's hard to think of Kevin Durant and think, yeah, that guy needs to expand his game. But yeah, he has to. Because you know what? They didn't get a Pau Gasol. So Durant's game has to evolve. And if that happens, I think they're very capable of winning an NBA title. Getting this old body work done. What's been up? Yeah, how's the summer going so far? It's quick, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's fun, so but... Yeah, then I, we got USA basketball this summer, too, so it should be fun, but, you know, took away half of my summer. 20 of the top players in the country are headed to Las Vegas, Nevada, to start a month-long training camp before heading to Spain to defend their title. But without NBA's elite players like LeBron James, Chris Paul, and Carmelo Anthony on the roster, this World Cup will be extremely challenging for Team USA. So it's been like a, a six-year process for me, just being there every summer working with the USA team. It was always a goal of mine to, to win gold medal. Constantly putting work with that in the back of my mind where I wanted to play for my country. New guys is coming in, um, <clears throat> rising stars in this league. So, you know, this is a big pool of players that they always choose each and every summer. My name is Kevin Durant, and I'm a proud member of USA Basketball. My name is Kevin Durant, and I'm a proud member of USA Basketball. You good, you good, Kyle. Watch that, watch that play. Yeah, well, the other thing is I think you know, like you're falling back on a lot of your shots, and you don't have to. You got Curry and Harden, and you'll get an open shot. Kevin, was there ever a time that you thought about maybe taking some time off? Oh, I just wanted to be here, and, uh, I, you know, I, my basketball life is, you know, is, is short when you look at it in the grand scheme of things. So I just want to, I really want to play as much as I can, to be honest. How close were you to getting Tom Gasol in Oklahoma City? Uh, obviously not that close. <laughs> uh, but I, I mean, I did my work on the first time recruiting the guy, but it didn't pan out. You know, it's kind of it's kind of tough to sell guys on you know, Oklahoma City, Chicago, Oklahoma City, LA. Yeah. But you know, we, we live in, if they come to Oklahoma City and see the love that they get there, guys, we, we want to come. But obviously for you, uh, you're satisfied where you are in Oklahoma City. But there's always talk about a guy in his hometown. Uh, kind of give us a comment on that. I don't know how much more I can answer that one. I'm right, done, man. No disrespect to you. All right, I'm done. All right, man. I'm done, bro. Kevin Durant's 
commitment to USA Basketball has been phenomenal. He loves basketball, but he, he really loves representing his country, and thank God that he does. All right, thank you all. The best part, of course, was the one-on-ones with Paul George and James Harden, two of the best players in the league. I'm a student of the game. I'm a fan of the game. I'm really interested to see how those guys work and what they do. We knew that playing against each other was going to make us better, and we really tried to go at each other. Every time you step on that court and you're competing against somebody, you want to win at it. Welcome everyone to Las Vegas and the birth of a mission for 20 of the top basketball players on the planet. Tonight, inside the Thomas & Mack Center, USA Basketball takes its first step to Derrick Rose, resurrected and reborn, the former NBA MVP, and Kevin Durant, the reigning MVP. It's blue against white, next. There's Rose, oh, he's back. It's Durant. Punched it on AD and won. Durant with the reverse layup. You know what I was thinking? Do not hurt that guy. It, it felt awkward, you know, once we were playing, you know, because it just didn't feel right for some reason. Rosen finds Paul George. Paul George has been kind of quiet tonight. Paul was struggling a little bit in that game with a shot. So, you know, guys like that, when you're struggling, you just try to do anything to pick your game up, whether to get a steal or block. Um, assist, a rebound, something to get you going. And that's what he tried to do with James. And it was just a freak accident. Real uniform, that is. His leg hit the stanchion perfectly in order for it to, to break. Paul George shaking up, ran into the stanchion. You know, I couldn't see, so I was just like, what's going on? And, you know, DeMarcus Cousins was just like, man, he just broke his leg. And the first thing I went through in my mind, I was like, man, he can't play no more. Ran into the stanchion. If this is the most important thing right now is, is making sure that these guys uh, stay healthy. You know, it was tough to go through. You know, I just tried to be strong for him. When I went down there and talked to him, I just put my hand on his chest and prayed for him and, um, you know, told him everything's going to be all right. Um, um, everything's on hold. You know, everything's on hold right now, and it should be. It would be so inappropriate for us to uh, talk about anything else. It was tough, because I know how much he loves to play basketball, and that was the first thing I was worried about, is his sanity. You know, a guy that, that loves to play so much, it'd be taken away from him from, from a freak injury. It was, it was tough to see. you see something like that so gruesome in front of you, of course you're going to think, man, this could happen to me. My next step is going to be delicate. I'm going to be make sure I'm careful because uh, it could happen to anybody. But at the same time, I was more so tired than anything. And the next week, I, you know, I remember I went to OKC for my camps. And I was like, man, I'm drained, I'm tired, you know, the practices, the travel shoot arounds, the meetings and stuff like that. I was like, man, this is draining. So I told Rich, I was like, man, I don't know if I want to continue to play. You know, because I'm, I'm tired, man. I want to enjoy the rest of my summer. I want to work on my game on my own time. He supported me. Um, Charlie supported me. All my family and friends supported me. And I was just, you know, 
made the right decision based on how I felt. So that's like, Coach, can I call you? It's important, or? Yeah. Yeah, he said he's about to walk in practice. I ain't gonna hit him right before we go to practice. It's time to get started. KFKD. How you guys doing today? Yeah. Good? Ready to learn? Ready to get better? Yeah. All right. First of all, just look to your parents. Say thank you. Thank you. This is part of the highlight of my summer, getting to teach you guys, also learn a little bit from you guys as well. So. Let's get it started. Here's the five You gotta tie your shoes up, man. Coach, I want you to trip. What's up, man? You ready? Okay, Let's go. Let's start. Let's go. Awesome. Is it tough playing in the NBA? No, you can do it. Easy. In four years that we've done Kevin's camp, no one has ever scored on it. Okay? So you can be the first. All right? Double trouble. My body feels great. It was just like, man, I've been four summers straight, bro. Since I've been in the league, I've been with USA Basketball. So it took everything out of me, that, seeing that shit. The injury, it took every, everything I had to play for Team USA, the injury just stripped it away from me. Like, it's not even the fact that we can get hurt, because I can walk outside and get hurt. Hello? Coach, what's up, man? <laughs> this is the hardest thing I had to do, Coach, in so long, man. I don't even know how to really say it, but I think it's, it's the best that I rest this summer and hopefully, you know, get another chance to compete for you guys in 2016, but for right now, I think it's the best for me that I, that I pull off. This was tough for me, man. This is, this is one of the hardest things I had to do, you know? I feel like it's the right thing to do for myself, but at the same time, I feel like I'm letting somebody down, and I hate that feeling, you know? I've been doing this every summer since I've been in the NBA, and I think with the exception of one. So I think that, you know, just to have me fully focus on getting right for the Thunder and for my season. Thanks a lot for understanding this, Once I made that call, he was so understanding. It made me feel at peace with my decision. And uh, I was able to, uh, to go out there and, it, it, you know, right after I got off the phone with Coach K, just kind of, you know, let my shoulders down a little bit and, and just relax. Kevin Durant has dropped out from Team USA, and this couldn't have come at a worse time. With an already depleted roster, Durant was expected to lead this young team to gold in Spain. With Paul George's injury and now Durant's decision to drop out, Team USA is at a major disadvantage as they head to Spain. See, I don't like how they do this. Leaves God. Team USA like I'm just. I know, but there's nothing you can do about yeah, something. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I'm just saying, I just don't like it. Yo. Yo, I couldn't do this shit, though. I was fucking tired, bro. I've been going all, all year for four years straight, bro. Hey, That's woo, bro. I couldn't do it, dog. When I was out there, I was like, man, this shit. I couldn't do it, bro. I'm tired, dog. 
I think this is going to pay off for him this year. I, I do think he needed a rest. If you had to question one thing at the end of the year, a year ago was fatigue and the playoffs. I think it will help him this year. Man, I was, I was, I wasn't stressing, but I was like, damn. Oh, of course, man. You, you made the right decision for yourself, man. You probably feel like you have a big ass weight off your back right now. Yeah, because I don't got to worry about going over the seas and all this stuff. When you're on the cover of NBA 2K15, uh, you are introduced last. The MVP, Kevin Durant. Kenny, I gotta ask you, and I certainly know where you're coming from, how tough a decision was it for you to have to step away from, from this group? It was tough, but I, I think for myself, I just needed to take a step back and get ready for the next season and, and rest up, you know? We played a long, long 82-game uh, season. Um, this past year, so I wanted to be smart with myself. And of course, I love to play the game. I love USA basketball. I love these guys, but you know, I think it was best for me to just take a step back and rest and get ready for the next season. All right, you three have come from practice today, I assume. Yeah. Yes, sir. sir. Are the practices good? And definitely, the competition level is is, is at an all-time high, um, and and you're just challenging, and you're pushing, you're pushing each other. Because one, I mean, obviously we're going against each other, competing in practice, but we're all you know going towards a common goal of find out that, that 12-man roster and win a gold medal. KD, what is it that you do better than anybody? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you don't have to be humble here. We're just, no. just a, a small <laughs> group of friends and people with cameras. Honestly, I think I score better than anybody. Different ways, different mm -hmm. shots, uh, efficiently. We always have this discussion on our show. Um, and it always comes down to you and Mello. Yeah. Huh? Is that? I don't know. Oh, where are you at, dog? That's some bullshit, dog. Just because it's his gym, he gonna call that bullshit. Great D. We living with that. Fuck him. Oh, oh shit. They ain't doing that shit to me. Niggas call me skinny. Good work, boy. Good work. Kevin Durant's deal is up with Nike, yeah. and uh, Under Armour's been courting him, and it's an unbelievable offer, but Nike's got a chance to come back and match that offer, and he's got a history with Nike, and quite frankly, he's the future of basketball, so Nike would be foolish not to go after him. Yeah, I mean, what's $275 million to Nike? That's called a wise investment. What's up, man? Adriana, Tara, What's up? Kimberly. How you doing? Yo, you living good in here, man. Should we go see your mark and go that sign is the other we can go? I thought he's coming here. I know, but let's not wait. Time is of the essence. You wanna go upstairs? You don't have to. You got a gift coming. That's for me? So that you? painting's from Rihanna? Yeah. National delivery. Okay. <laughs> oh, my 
my gosh, yo. Their favorite artist. I always watch your wiener. That's incredible. So I'll mail it to you. You go Mark. What's up? Mike. Didn't you last night? Man, that was fun. Roman. It's good, right? Yeah. <laughs> you you got to sit down the side. Oh, I can't wait to sign this. This one. is the signature page, just to make it easier. I have all, yeah, so. Yeah, that's just the contract. Okay. We're going right away. Ultimately, my heart was always with Nike, and I built such a great relationship with everybody. It wasn't just about any dollar amount with me. It was about who I'm going to be doing life with for the next 10 years. Yeah, we've been through a lot and we've, you know, we've built a great bond. So I can't wait to see what they have in store. Hey, Rich. Hey, Em. How you doing, brother? I'm good, brother. How are you? Man, I got to get back to work. Got to lock in, man. Get ready. With only a couple days left before training camp, I went back to L.A. to get in the last few workouts. To make one more push before the summer ended. Hello, are you good? How you doing? Good work. Hey, have a seat with Matt. Tony, you gonna rebound? Yep. Hey. This is gonna be our the tightest team that we had. You know, I can feel it because we all been working out this summer. We all keep in contact throughout the summer. You guys killed it this week, man. We have all the talent in the world, but chemistry um, can be a lot better for us. The movement right there. Finish, good. Good, yep. Yes, sir. We always liked our core. The guys that's going to fit in with the group. Hey, come on. Come on, come on. At this point, I don't feel like I'm competing with anybody. I'm, all, I'm almost like competing with myself because I want to be my own person, my own player. And, you know, it's, you don't have to be a certain way just to win. People always ask me if it's hard to play in a small market, but I love this city. When people talk about OKC, it's usually always about a tragedy. The bombings or the tornadoes, but those things that make these people so strong. Two days after the tornado hit, and all of this, every every home you see was tore down. It was, it was, it was crazy. I was sitting at home watching, and the first thing that went through my mind is that we bounce back. Our community always, when we fall down, we always get back up. And congratulations, this is a step forward, and we're going to continue to support our community. Hey, I'm cool. We need to go to the top of it. <laughs> Currently 63 at 98.1 FM, WWLS, the sports animal. Start of the season, only a few weeks out. We've got media day on Monday, then Tuesday, bam, uh, they're at practice. Right now, Kevin Durant's going to be only about winning. I mean, that is his main and only goal right now as a basketball player. He's got the MVP. He's got the shoe contract. But right now, Kevin Durant's legacy is all going to be about championships. And I think this will drive him even more toward that goal. We have breaking news. 12 days into training camp, the Oklahoma City Thunder have announced that reigning MVP Kevin Durant has been diagnosed with a stress fracture in his right foot. We'll be giving more details as they become available. Yesterday after practice, Kevin um, alerted our medical staff of feeling a little bit of an aching in his right foot. He's starting to show signs of this, and we need to address it, you know, before it becomes something more significant and that he misses more time. You know, he's going to recover from this. He's going to recover, you know, quickly. Um, but we're going to be really cautious as we would with every player. This definitely wasn't the start of the season I was looking for. 
you know, I played through a lot of little nicks and pains because that's just the grind of the season, but this one was a little different, something I never felt. You know, I worked so hard, I was ready to show my teammates and my coaches and the rest of the league what I got. It was definitely a blow, you know, because I never had surgery before. I never missed this much time. And not being on the court with my team for the first month is going to be tough, you know, but just try to stay positive. I can really appreciate a journey and uh, the steps you have to go through in order to get to the top. Now, I have no doubts about us getting there. You know, I feel confident that we can get there one day, but I think, you know, the journey that we take to get there is, is always, a, you know, up and down, you know, peaks and valleys. You know, we want to win. That's the biggest thing in this league is winning a championship. It's time to get it done. This has been a presentation of HBO Sports.